the introduction. Uh, well. uh, my name is Nikali Desai. I'm a graduate student and today I'm uh, uh, from the University of North Texas. Uh, today I'm presenting uh, our sensor which can detect the PM 2.5 particle. So uh, this is the outline of my uh, presentation. Firstly, I'll say motivation, then uh, it will uh, it shows the uh, statement of the problem. Then I will uh, say how the sensor is working and the detail about our sensor and our experiment uh, experimental setup results and then conclusion. So the main motivation of our uh, experiment was a uh, mining worker. Uh, when they are working in a mine or they are performing some activities, uh, it will, uh, due to some, uh, uh, dust particle, there, there are so small dust particle will be there in environment. Uh, so <clears throat> this dust particle are very small in a size and uh, it, it has tend tendency to, to create a, a very dangerous disease regarding lung. So uh, this uh, particles, uh, one of the uh, particles, uh, we can say PM 2.5 particles, uh, which has a diameter of uh, 2.5 uh, micrometer or less than that. Uh, the sources of the particles uh, uh, can be uh, smoke, uh, any smoke we, we can uh, generate from the uh, smokes uh, and also it can uh, generate in the construction site, uh, industrial smoke and everything. So uh, the literature research says uh, if the concentration of above 35 microgram per meter cube for a short term, uh, it, uh, it's uh, considered as uh, unhealthy for the human being and 12 microgram per meter cube for a long term. So. Uh, by the U.S. Bureau of the Labor Statistic, uh, it says uh, approximately 10% of worker died after uh, wearing the respirator and uh, uh, due to the leakage in the respirator. And this leakage uh, it can be happened with improper un un uh, wearing of the respirator. Uh, so our challenge was to detect the PM 2.5 particle in terms of mass concentration. To solve this, uh, to solve uh, to solve these issues, uh, we have used a uh, lithium neon ba based sensor, such as a 120 degree uh, propagate, uh, cut on a y axis, and it's the way of traveling in the x axis. Uh, it, ha it has higher operating temperature at uh, 4 degree, 4, 400 degrees Celsius. Uh, it, it also has a stable response, high sensibility, and uh, uh, it was uh, giving the same response every time. So uh, this is our basic working phenomena of our sensor. Uh, our sensor work on a mass loading effect. <clears throat> In a so propagation area here, uh, if, we, if we deposited the particles, in between the uh, sensing area, it will affect the velocity of the uh, waves and, uh, it, and with the velocity, it will also affect uh, the resonant uh, frequency of our SO device. And based on the shift in that frequency, uh, we can detect the uh, presence of the particle. Uh, and we have calculated sensitivity in terms of change in the frequency and change in the mass concentration of the particle. So it will have a different uh, change in the frequency uh, related to the different uh, concentration of the particle. So we cannot just uh, detect the presence, but we can say the concentration of the particle as well. <clears throat> this is our sensor we have used. Uh, the sensor is designed and fabricated by PNNL. Uh, the Rayleigh wave uh, with a velocity of uh, around 4,000 meters per second is traveling across the uh, surface of the substrate. And uh, these are all the uh, dimensional <clears throat> parameter of the sensor. Uh, here is a two different SO device, uh, one we can use as a reference and one we can use our uh, sensing uh, substrate. So, uh, but uh, for our experiment, we just have used one device to uh, detect the PM 2.5 particle. Uh, also, it has an electromagnetic coupling of 5.6, uh, which is very good. Uh, so this is our sensor unit and our experiment setup. Uh, uh, here we have used particle generator to generate uh, PM 2.5 particle. Uh, then the particle will travel to the diffusion tire as they are not purely uh, PM 2.5, it will have some uh, water particle. So after uh, traveling from the diffusion tire, it can uh, reduce 80% of the water particle from it, which will not affect the humidity inside uh, this our uh, chamber, air seal chamber. Uh, we have used uh, this chamber to uh, not to affect the temperature, humidity and pressure uh, of the outside environment inside this uh, chamber. Uh, because our sensor can react with temperature, humidity, and uh, everything. So uh, we have measured the, our 
we also put uh, this uh, commercially available uh, sensor to detect the parameter inside the chamber so we can uh, verify that our response is just uh, due to the pm 2.5 particle uh, here we have kept the sensor uh, this response is uh, tracked by the network analyzer we have used uh, we have tracked the s11 response of the so sensor uh, this shows the s11 response at uh, 72 megahertz uh, uh, over the frequency of our so device is 72 megahertz and the response from the network analyzer uh, we have tracked in the computer using LabVIEW program So this one is our the final output result. Uh, here we can see our frequency was decreasing, the, uh, increasing the particle concentration inside the chamber. Uh, we have also performed the surface imaging to uh, verify the size of the particle. Here uh, we can uh, detect the size of the particle was from 1.5 micrometer to uh, 0.6 micrometer. So we can say the size of the particle was less than 2.5 micrometer. Uh, also we have, uh, uh, perform the uh, surface imaging uh, with, with a different concentration as well. Uh, and so we can see uh, increasing the concentration, uh, our, uh, the number of particles on the surface was increasing. Uh, the the y-axis represent the frequency in hertz, <clears throat> x-axis represent time in a second. So uh, maximum concentration, we increase up to 200, uh, 200 microgram per uh, meter cube. After uh, after some time, we try to decrease our uh, concentration in the step files, and we uh, see that our response was uh, following the same uh, same trend. So the uh, conclusion, uh, our uh, so sensor was able to detect the PM two point five particle at a norm normal environmental condition, and this sensor worked on the mass loading effect. It, it has a uh, the sensitivity of ten point seven hertz uh, per microgram per meter cube. Uh, this is the mass sensitivity of our sensor uh, and our sensor was able to detect uh, to 250 microgram per meter cube of the particle concentration and our future work will be to uh, compensate the effect of the temperature humidity and pressure on our sensor so it can uh, detect the particle uh, in, in, in harsh environment as well. Okay.